Welcome to NanoCAD Plus 8.5. I'm going to show you some of what's new in this 2018 release. The biggest new feature is PDF editing. That's right, you can import a PDF and edit it. Let me show you how that works. So I'm here in the file menu, click import PDF, choose a PDF, and it can be single page or multi-page PDF files. Here's the uh, dialog box with options. So for example, here's the pages being displayed. You can specify what you want imported. Obviously the vector geometry because that's what can be edited. Raster images cannot be edited. And then if there's type in there that's true text type, it'll be turned into M text. You can either have NanoCAD create a layer which places all of the PDF entities on their own layer, or you can use the layers that are defined in the PDF file if there are any, as well as stick it all on the current layer. You can import it as a block or as a group. So let's choose a page and import it. Just wait a moment for it to come in. And there it is. Let me do a zoom extends to enlarge it. So here we have this cross section of a road. And there's, you can see these are polylines. Text, if it wasn't a true type font, but an SHX font, then it comes through as polylines as well. In fact, pretty much everything is a polyline. Another benefit to using PDFs in NanoCAD 8.5 is its ability to snap to entities that are in underlays. So here I've attached a PDF file as an underlay and I'll start the line command. Now as I move my cursor around you'll see NanoCAD snapping here to a midpoint, here to an endpoint, here to an intersection. When an entity contains many, many segments, like a hatch pattern or a polyline, then NanoCAD 8.5 now only shows you the grips that are the closest to the cursor. So I move the cursor over this polyline, click, and you can see now that there's the blue grips only within an inch or so of where the cursor is lying on that polyline. This makes the overall speed of NanoCAD 8.5 faster. NanoCAD 8.5 is now able to clip it. So here's the insert underlay dialog box and we'll just uh, put it into the drawing. Now to clip it I'll use the modify clip command and there we have one for underlay. Down on the command line it asks if we uh, want to, to select a block or an X reference and in this case it, we can select the PDF. Press enter, new, polygon, and then I'll just go around here and around this mudslide area. Press enter, and there's your clip. The clip, of course, can be edited. Click on it, and then drag the grips. Let me quickly run through a few other changes that you'll find in NanoCAD 8.5. The user interface has been cleaned up and uh, you can see the user interface from, from version 8 above and below it 8.5. In an example of just a small change, the mText dialog box has become slimmer in NanoCAD 8.5. The purge dialog box handles far more types of entities. There is now a materials browser, as you can see here, where you can define your own materials and then apply them to entities in the drawing. You can now apply lights. You do this through the view render light menu, and then there's the four types of lights you can apply. Point lights are for like lamps in the ceiling. Spotlights are like at a concert. Distant light is such as sunlight. And a web light is a light whose manufacturer has provided the actual light distribution map. Mm -hmm. 